Hey guys, what's up? It's GTO Technology, and <clears throat> as you're probably aware, uh, there was a really a recent update, um, a recommended build release from Bucket that changes the way events are handled and um, some other things that you have to do with Eclipse and so on and so forth when you're creating plugins. So I'm going to go ahead and go over those changes so that your plugins can be up to date and so that my other tutorials uh, will still work. So in order to get no, or, well, let's just establish one thing. You can't use Craft Bucket anymore as your uh, build path because it's made only for servers, and they've seemed to have now enforced this by uh, you actually not even being able to use it anymore. So, at, you know, within your plugin, of course, it'll still work with your server. Uh, so now you have to use something called Bucket, not just uh, Craft Bucket. So go to uh, wiki.bucket org and then once you're there look for at the very bottom latest downloads bucket API re recommended build so click that and it will download save that somewhere call it bucket.jar and once you've done that uh, go ahead and open up Eclipse or whatever you use NetBeans this is made ideally for Eclipse but once we get to the coding it won't matter it's all the same in the long run so uh, here's how old events used to work um, you'd, you know, you'd define your listener classes. You'd, you know, have your on disable, and then on enable, you'd have your events registered. Uh, you do pm dot register event event type block break, and then the class, the priority, and then where it's referring to. And then in your block listener, you'd have on block break block break event event, and then at the very top, you'd have extends block listener. Well, none of that will work anymore with the new uh, bucket because they've changed how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to start from the top. Just right click in the Package Explorer, go to New, and then Java Project. I'm going to call this New Events. And right click this and go to New Package. I'm going to do me.geekplaya.newEvents. Right click this. Now this isn't really a tutorial on how to set up a plugin as much as how to upgrade it. So I'm assuming you already have some prior knowledge in creating plugins. So I'm just doing you know the, the general setup that we have to do. Let's just speed this up a little bit. Copy that, paste it. Okay, so we're gonna call this new events. And okay. So for now on, you need to right click your project and when you're adding your build path you need to now use bucket instead of craft bucket so locate the latest one which I showed you how to do you need to download that and then right click go to build path add external jars and then double click the jar file for bucket okay so as soon as you do that you're gonna notice that uh, register event is crossed out which means it's deprecated and um, and that there's you know there's a ton of errors so here's how to fix this. Okay, so just remove your register events and type in place of them get server dot get plugin manager or in this case we can just do pm because I've already defined the variable dot register events and for our block listener I'm going to do this dot block listener because I defined that variable at the top and then argument one would be this. Now save that. I'm, I'm still going to get an error because I haven't updated my block listener yet, or even added it. So, and you don't really need to change any of this, so don't worry about that. And in your block listener class, go ahead and transfer that over. You're going to notice that you're also going to get that line running through your extend. Uh, extends block listener. Instead of extends block listener, you're going to put implements listener. And you're going to save that and you're going to import listener. Let's go ahead and remove that. As you can see, no errors, but it's still not going to work because now you have to uh, set your priorities from within the listener class. But, so to do that, you do at event handler for normal, which is what most of us use. But if you're one of the few people that, or not one of the few, but if you're one of the people that need to 
set a high priority, you do at event handler, uh, parentheses, priority equals event priority dot high. And then you import. So that's how you do that. And of course, you can modify it and say normal. But if you're just going to do normal, you don't even need this part right here. So that's how you set your priorities in this. And once you do that, it actually now just looks for this right here. So you don't even need to call it on block break. You can call it block breaking. Okay, so this little part doesn't matter anymore what you name. It just matters that you have the event in the parentheses. So a few things to remember, you need to now use bucket as your reference library. And you need to uh, change how your events are handled by saying the priority from within the class, saying implements listener instead of extends the listener type. And you need to register your events differently from your main class. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.